We give all the glories to the Lord. We let us each other have a peace in your heart. You are the evangelist who will save this world with the firstborn and blessings. So we will save the 10,000 disciples. Christ is the answer of our life and is the conclusion in our life. We've experienced so many things throughout our life. Jesus, but the conclusion is Jesus is Christ. Is the answer and his conclusion. With his answer and conclusion, will not be shaken at all. Will not be boastful and will not be discouraged. Will not crumble down. Only with Jesus Christ, we will receive answers and conclusions in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Last week, I um, shared uh, the words for the field of remnants. Before sharing this um, the message that I want to share, the, the guidance of the Lord. I organized the guidance of the Holy Spirit in my life. For 40 years, I've been doing this mission for 40 years in this church. So many conflicts and so many concerns happening around me. But I was, I've been in the flow of uh, of His words. Of course, I uh, went through the difficulties and all the concerns, but I was stick to his words. So I really thank for this. Thank for your sacrifices. Of course, if you are in the work of faith, then you must receive the answers. You might think like this way, but for me, of course, in this it seasons and you must bear a fruit or a some sort of rewards, but there are lots of conflicts. But still, I'm within the church. I'm within His words. That gives me a lot of thankful heart toward the Lord. For this word evangelization, God prepared this church. And the flow of the history of this church, I looked back all the history of this church and I thought, I didn't think of what I've done, but I just uh, thought about how God used this church and as my answer God has no choice but to use this church for this world evangelization this is a church that will do this world evangelism movement and this is a church that love this gospel and I met the precious church members and I met these uh, elders and church members who love the gospel and they are doing this remnant movement and every moment was my um, answer from the Lord I'm just standing in that moment that I'm experiencing the God's working. I thank every moment of my life that I received all the blessings of blessings. Within the flow of the church and his words, 
I've seen all these random movements throughout his words. And still, God is answering me. Until now, and God will give me more and bigger answers and the blessings that I have this. I'm very sure that how God will guide me and He's been guiding me a lot until now then He will give me more accurate guidance toward this world evangelism. We might misunderstand about this, his words. Some people might think that if we obey God's word, then we will be blessed. If we disobey God's word, we will be cursed. So many people in their walk of faith, they might think God as um, very scary one, always judging people. What is right and what is wrong. If they disobey God and they will be cursed, that can be the right words, but on the background, they cannot get out of their religious life. Yesterday, we have a core message, then I received the message like what is the purpose of the judgment because he wants to save us. In that case, in the passage today, the things that we must take a look at is you may not think that like I've done this and done that and I received the blessings. That's actually wrong. You are within God's word. If so you are still in the complex difficulties, you are still in God's word. As long as you are within God's word, you will just follow after him. This passage is mainly talking about this. This is the most blessing dividend. As long as you are in God's word, then you are blessed the most. It's not talking about what you've done to receive blessings. Um, you are within God. The fact that you are within God is itself, in itself, that is the blessing. And you will be blessed in the field and your in the city and your fruits of your cattle and your your children. And even blessed shall be your basket and your leading ball. And everything is about the blessings. And it will give the rain in its season. That means, and then your children will be a head, not a tail. And the people always pray that like my children must do well and do this well and that. If they must, if they shall live, then they must be a head. It's not like this. You must first check the whether they are within God's word or not. You must follow his words. Each one of you will be the blessing as long as you are within his words. You may be weary, you may be weak, but that's all okay as long as you are within his words. You may make a mistake, but it's okay within, but as long as you are within his words. You have no choice but to follow his words. And God will achieve what he says. So, until you are within his words, that is the blessing itself. 
So the name of Jesus to receive these blessings. First of all, you must think about it. Your life itself is the blessing within His words. In other words, that is a life that do you receive all His blessings. You must know this fact that you must receive His answers, blessings. So that's the life that we just follow after His blessings. So we are are very aware of this passage, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. All the church mourners know this verse very well. And all in the past, people might have written all the blessings in their spoons and forks. So even if they are keen on these words blessings, then they just can memorize this. But what God says to us is that it's not talking about and that everything is working really well. He's not saying that everything will be working really well to you. So what he says that Unless we receive the blessings from the Lord, it doesn't work at all. Without His grace, we cannot live even a second. From above, we must receive the blessings. Otherwise, we cannot live any moment. That is the life. Genesis chapter 26 He created He created the man in his own image and he's talking about the fish in the water and the birds in the sky that is a there was a certain purpose of us making us. It's trying God made each one of us here. And what was the plan for His making us? God made us to garden all the living things on earth. And that is blessing that we were made. We were created in His own image. And in verse 28, to govern this world and must, uh, take all the living things on earth. According to His will, He blessed us to govern this world. From the beginning, our lives are supposed to receive His blessings. But in the end, we were separated from God. There was no way to receive God's blessings. But God again sent His own son, Jesus Christ, for us to receive the answers and His blessings. But through this Bible, God tells us this story. At this very moment, you must live within the blessing of the Lord. The fact that you are not receiving His grace that itself is a curse. You are destined to live in the midst of curses and disasters. And if they, what they eat and what they but this sleep is not a blessing at all, but it's a curse for non-believers. People who do not meet God, for them it's also a curse. The fact that they breathe, they sleep, and they eat, because they are very healthy, so this is the reason that they, they can't. 
says the believers. That is the most blessing that we are within, living within God's words. And Paul always read, uh, wrote the letters of the first time that we are the first verse of his letter says that we are within God. We are in God. That is the blessing self. God called Abraham out of Greece. I didn't bless this Abraham and they were when he was living really well, but he said that you are a blessing. The Abraham is the, himself is a blessing and he guided him. So we can see this fact throughout this Bible. You might misunderstand that I've done this, I've done that, but I received a lot of blessings. That's wrong. You already received the blessings regardless of what you are doing. So with this fact, you must take a step. But how can you receive God's blessing through His words? When you receive His words, you do not take this as, uh, just for granted. You must imprint His words in your heart and thoughts. And God's blessings always will be achieved through His words. So you must imprint His words in your heart. To the extent that when you experience the problems and difficulties, and you can just find His words. Just to take this for granted, but you must find the answers within his words. Regardless of your learnings, then you will have a deep root in his words and you will find the blessings for yourself. They must have deep roots with his words in your life and spiritually we will see the answers. The writer of Psalm, who are blessed, blessed who are meditating on his words day and night. It's planted near the stream of the water and they will not dry away because they have the deep root in the water and they will not dry out. In other words, our life that must have the deep root within his words. That's the most blessed one. You must listen to my words. Judas and Joas, and you will stand firmly in the Lord. You must trust in the prophet, that you that everything will work well, and you must trust Jesus Christ, the Lord, who will uh, give you the, uh, the words. God is giving the blessing to His words, so you must trust in Jesus Christ, then you will stand firmly. And you must trust the priest. Each era, He always set up uh, the priest who will uh, witness His words. So whenever you receive His answers, then you will grab hold of his words and you, everything will be working well on you. And you can really get strong. You want to have everything working well on you. These words must have a deep root in your life. Every moment you must grab hold of these words. That's very important thing in your life. All uh, the knowledge and all the theories and 
that they are important, but more than that, you must take his words as the first priority. You must listen to his words first. And you go out to the field, the world. They are going against what God says. And all the things are filled with the things against God. From the early childhood, childhood they were friends that, um, with the things with, against God. God created everything on earth and heaven, and He is working on this principle of this world. God created everything with, according to His will. Regardless of all the matters on earth, God is governing this world. And you must figure out first the principle of this world. Then the science is closely related to this gospel. The scientist says that one thing, the science is something and the, the gospel is another. But this world is all the theories, all the knowledge, all the backgrounds of the world uh, are was separated from all what God says. That's why they thought that it's not related to they are totally different. But God is accurate. God is all precise things that you must remember. Then you are uh, living in the chaos of this world without God's word. And the God is of your language, you are getting into the forces of darkness. You love God, you said that you love God. Then what is the meaning of your loving God? That means you love God's words. If you love God's word, if you great proclaim and achieve the God's word, then you will see these His words are achieving, proclaiming the field. Then they will have totally different worship service, and they will see His words achieving in this field. They're always waiting for, they can't wait to, to see his words. The fact that God is, God's word is achieving this field, and whenever uh, they face problems, they will go back to his words again. You must check whether you are within the conflicts of the world or within God's words. You must taste his words first, otherwise you will fall into the trouble. If you see yourself achieving God's words and you will get into his words, that is what disciples do. And according to the Bible, there are so many uh, main figures, but the David who were, was guided accurately by what he says. In the midst of the better bill, he always checked everything with God. No matter what happens to them, to him, then he just followed after his words. Grabbing hold of his covenant. He did what God says, and he didn't what God didn't say. That is a characteristic of the main figures in the Bible. They loved God's words so much that he wrote all the poem, uh, the writings in Psalm. Half of the psalms were uh, written by David, filled with his praises, his pleasure, and his worship within God. How wonderful it was for David to write this book. 
is as sweet as the, uh, the honey of the flowers. The most important thing is that all the blessings are given by His words. So you must meditate on His words. You must concentrate on God, God's words deeply. Then within this meditation, the meditation of God, then the gospel itself is yours. Otherwise, you will listen to all the many theories, all the worldly thoughts then that will change your thoughts. You must meditate on God deeply. That you will experience what God says, that they can be mine. Then you will receive the answers and the strengths from above. With the strength from above, then you will find the genius from above. Hidden in heaven, and with this genius, then you can get out to the world with a very important mission from above. So you must first meditate on God and concentrate on His words. At some point, we are in this COVID-19 era. There are two types of, there can be two types of church members. Some people might be accustomed to listening to his message online and they can't concentrate on uh, the message. In the end, they are away from their work office. And others might be more focused on his words. And this is the moment that they can uh, focus more on God's words. This is the right moment that you can focus on his words. You must not lose hold of this moment. I said that to uh, the church instructors, the assistant pastors, that the church members are separate, um, divided into two sections, six sections. It might be very uncomfortable. And half of the church members are attending this church at this moment. And Sunday schools as well. So no matter what happens, you must share this VIP messages to the field and the two church members. Then we can't uh, think that all the church members will come to church. The old church members come to church. So in the field, the children must listen to this message. Otherwise, we will lose all these children and all church members as well. What do you think about this crisis at this moment? By meditating on his words and you can more focus on his words and receive strength more than before from above. In the name of Jesus, you will receive more strength and power from above. By concentrating on his words and you receive the power from above and with his talent and genius and you can go get out of this world. And with this mission, then you grab hold of this mission and you will get out to this world. Secondly, if you love this with words so much, then the, what is the core of this message? You must surely confirm what the message, what the core of the message is. Then you can obey his words. And I will explain by giving you the, some verses. 
First of all, you must check your work office with this. A few things I will share with you. In the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and without checking this message, otherwise you will not have a proper work of peace. In the book of Matthew, people who who people do you say the people say that I am? And some people might say that you are the prophet or social activist, or you are the prophet of one of the prophets. And Jesus asked again, Who do you say I am? Nobody answered these questions, but one said that Jesus the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Peter confessed his face accurately. You are the priest and the prophet and the king, and you solved all the problems. You are the Christ. That's the confession of Peter. And all the problems come from this Genesis chapter 3. And what is the problem of Genesis chapter 3? Because of the Satan, the people were separated from God and they were under Satan. And without their wanting, they were seized by the authority of Satan. So they have the background of hell, and they are living like a hell on earth, and they will eventually go to hell after that. So the Jesus Christ came down to the earth as prophet, priest, and king. So he break all the authority of Satan and opened the way to meet God and he saved all, uh, he solved all the problems, our destiny, and he solved all the problems of hell. So this is Jesus. Peter said to Jesus is Christ, and Jesus said that then you have you are blessed. You are you know this, but you do not know this by your flesh, but by flesh of blood, but the grace of the Lord. You must attack that Jesus is Christ and Jesus is a solution. You must check all this fact that whether Jesus is Christ and Jesus is the solution of all our problems. It's all, it's everything that you confess your faith in an accurate way. Whenever you face the difficulties, the they just described all the, the, the problems and happening around them. But you must confess your workout face in this way. Not confess the facts in this world, but you must confess your workout face that Jesus is Christ. And the living evil spirit tried to seize you and try to attract you to uh, confess your facts and your problems. But God is answering your words. God is answering your prayers. Like, uh, I will build a church on the rock and this blessing will come upon you. And you must go forward with his words, his name, Jesus Christ. So many people are talking about all the facts happening around them, not confessing the work of faith, so they are within the problems of their lives. But within this accident, all the problems, God what really wants us to confess the work of faith. If we have this after work of faith, then the God will send us this Holy Spirit and mobilize all the angels from above, and He will achieve His will and His plans for you. And all this background and all the evil spirit will not overtake you. 
The impurity of sin will always try to attack you, but the sure thing is that we have the mystery of Jesus Christ. Grabbing hold of his words, praying, then you will find the perceptions of darkness. Then the, the, the background of hell will not overtake you. So God gave us key to shaving his words. If you are bound and you will be bound in heaven, if you are loose, you shall be loosed in heaven. That is Jesus Christ. So you must all check every day by day with this fact. You must make sure that Jesus is Christ. The Lord is Christ. Matthew 16, verse 20 says that after uh, revealing the fact that Jesus is Christ and He did not allow the disciples to share this fact, He went to the mountains with His disciples. And Eliza and Moses disappeared, and only Jesus Christ before them. So, what we must know is only Jesus Christ. Every blessing is within Jesus Christ, and everything is within Jesus Christ. So, we must know only Jesus Christ. That is, he is enough. He is perfect. Moses is not Moses. Is not Eliza. We received everything with the name Jesus Christ. So there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name on the heaven above man by which must be saved. Jesus is the only solution or an answer of your life. So you must have concrete conclusion in his name. And the book of John, chapter 30, and he said it's all done. It's all finished. And the mountain of Calvary. Then he completed every scene of our destiny and everything on the cross. Led to chapter 20, chapter 28, verse 1. And then he finished the or. And on the cross and he said that oh, how to save this world to his disciples he must go out to make his disciples that is the only way to save this world to do so he will give the authority and the holy spirit from above he will give you the you are given all the authority from heaven and on earth and Jesus has this authority in heaven and on earth and he wants to go out to make his disciples so this word evangelization is, will be achieved through people so God prepared his disciples in advance so that is a core message from Jesus Christ. And he gave the very important message to his disciples in the mountain of Olive. And all the Old Testament is received in this mountain. Christ, the kingdom of God, and only Holy Spirit. Christ, the kingdom of God, and the Holy Spirit are the total conclusion of our lives and all the conclusion of all the problems and the flow of the Bible is led to Christ, the Kingdom of God and the Holy Spirit. And the people of Israel, they were in the wilderness, they have the three pieces. 
It is three pieces. It's about Jesus Christ and the uh, Passover and Pentecost and the getting gathering or the blessings from both. That's all in the Matthew chapter 24, 28. Christ and the Kingdom of God and the Holy Spirit. In the book of Revelation, chapter 22. Do not. If anyone added to them, God will add to him the legends described in this book. Do not add or might subtract from it. That is Christ, the Kingdom of God, and the Holy Spirit. That's it. You must grab all these three things accurately, and you would. Uh, you will put these three things into practice in your field. So you will save this field as a very important evangelist. Let's come to the conclusion. The blessings within God's words. That's the title of the message today. There might be some parts that you cannot understand. If you do not understand this part, then there is no point that we have this church. There are so many things that we are not aware of. We must know this much very well, so much that we can share this to others. And they will come to one way, the enemy will come, one, come in one way, and they will flee in seven ways. They should come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. And it's actualizing is that in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord, and all the people will be afraid of the Lord. And with the name of Jesus Christ, they shall be afraid of you. And verse 14 says, and if you do not serve other gods, what is the reason that you must not receive uh, serve other gods? That is the way to the dosa. Um, that is about the key to the spiritual better fields. If you receive the answers and there's a blessing given to the people within God's words, we have the key, we have the uh, precious mystery to win over in the spiritual better field. And the, uh, the blessings for those who are within God's words in the spiritual better field, whenever you take the steps and you will experience God's words. Let us pray. You were your giving the, all the messages and the covenants that will be achieved in this field, in this world. So thank you for your words. Within these blessings of your words, want to fight in the spiritual battlefield and win over in the field. Let's let us make the, the witness in the field with your words. I pray in Jesus' holy, wonderful name. Amen.